What is an advanced emergency braking system? Your truck is probably fitted with something called AEBS, which stands for Advanced Emergency Braking System. It is a driver assistance system that, by law, has had to be fitted as standard equipment to most new HGVs since 2015. Its purpose is to warn the driver if it senses that the truck is about to run into the back of other traffic, and then apply the brakes to reduce the impact if the truck driver has failed to react in time. However, not all systems are the same, and there are variations between the systems fitted by different manufacturers. All of them have a radar looking far ahead. Some systems also feature forward-facing cameras in addition to radar sensors. The cameras provide additional input into the system as they can see road markings and signs. AEBS operates in three stages, with each stage only initiating if the driver has failed to intervene and the potential for collision remains. Stage 1 is an audio-visual warning on the dashboard if the system spots that the truck is getting too close to slowing traffic in front. If the driver fails to respond to the audio-visual warning, then Stage 2 initiates. This is a short, sharp application of the brakes to grab the driver's attention. The system also charges the braking system in readiness for full application. If the driver still fails to respond and the system detects that a collision is imminent, then the brakes are applied using the full force of the system, braking harder than the driver would be able to do on their own, and bringing the vehicle to a halt. While the collision may not be completely avoided, the impact will be much less serious. System Capabilities While the systems are designed to avoid a collision if possible, and lessen the impact if a collision is unavoidable, drivers and operators need to fully understand the system capabilities. If the speed differential between the HGV and the vehicle in front is too great, then a collision may be unavoidable, although the system will seek to reduce the impact speed. By law, systems are designed to avoid collisions with vehicles directly in the path of the HGV. So a vehicle parked at the side of the road, partially in the truck's path, may not be seen and fail to trigger the system. Once the system has provided a warning to the driver, if the driver makes any kind of braking, throttle or steering input, then the system will assume the driver is now in control and will not activate further. If the system is deactivated and reactivated by the driver, the system will also need to go through its usual startup and self-checking procedure before the system is fully active again. If the system is not reactivated by the driver, it will automatically reactivate itself the next time the engine is switched off and restarted. Tips for drivers Never rely solely on your truck's advanced emergency braking system. It is there as a driver aid only, and you must concentrate fully on the road ahead. Remember that after the first alarm warning, any input by you through the pedals or steering wheel will tell the system you are in control. Be vigilant for vehicles stranded at the side of the road that may be partially in your carriageway. The system may detect offset vehicles or pedestrians, but it is not legally required to do so and may fail to recognize them. While the system can be legally deactivated if, for example, it is malfunctioning, the system should be checked and reactivated at the earliest opportunity. Some systems, especially those systems without additional input from cameras, may occasionally be triggered unexpectedly by road features. If you deactivate the system at locations that frequently lead to a false alarm, make sure to reactivate the system immediately after passing by. But remember, the system may need a period of time to reset itself, during which it will not be operational. If you feel your system is triggering in response to false alarms, you should inform your transport manager. The system may trigger if another driver pulls in front of you or cuts you up after overtaking. 
These are not false alarms and do not warrant the system being deactivated. Just count to 10 and carry on. If you were to be involved in a collision while your AEBS was deactivated, this could affect a court's view on your level of culpability. If your windscreen is damaged and replaced, any camera system fixed to it must be recalibrated by a professional to ensure your AEBS continues to function properly.